first of all, I want to acknowledge Coast Salish territory, Musqueam, Slayer Tooth, Squamish. Respect. This poem is dedicated to my ancestors and to Colin, Col Colton Bushy's family. I rage like both of my grandfathers went to residential school. I rage like 1,200 missing murdered women in Canada and the justice system in the RCMP still hasn't changed. I rage like I get followed in shoppers because of the color of my skin. I rage like there's no consent for environmental extractions, AKA pipelines, mining, signing away land. I rage like mascots are named after the color of my skin. Redskins, fuck that. Hashtag change the name. I rage like the National Inquiry for the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women is so sloppy and disrespectful to our families and our relations. Hashtag reset the inquiry now. I rage like I can't speak or think in my own language because my grandfather did not teach my mother for protection. I rage like the government divides our grassroots and in Indian Act chiefs and council. I rage because Cindy Gladue was re responsible for her own death. I rage like Canada is a serial killer of indigenous people and everyone is silent. I rage like you're watching, but you say nothing because it questions your privilege. I rage like Colton Bushy's murderer is acquitted and found not guilty. I rage like when the RCMP goes to tell Colton Bushy's mother that he was killed, they draw their guns and raid their mother's house. I rage like the headlines blame Tina Fontaine, a 14-year-old indigenous girl, for having alcohol and drugs in her system and say nothing about her murderer. I rage like I bring together 300 people, 10 speakers, shut down the streets, march, and raise over $1,400 in less than 24 hours. Hashtag don't fuck with me. I rage. I fucking rage. When will you rage? When will you use your privilege and stand up with indigenous people? I rage. But most importantly, I resist. See you at the front line. Congratulations.